G'day everyone, it's Turbo Tristan here and in today's video we've got a very special, special little thing for you. Something that I'm very excited about. I think this is the coolest car ever and I don't know why there's not more of them on the road. Just a tip, look out, there is actually a fair few getting around Springvale low-key sleepers and that is Turbo CL9s. Now this one, all black on my all-time favourite wheels which is BBS LMs with the dish three piece these these are my favorite wheel hands down best wheel i reckon in the world we're doing some mods to this car today these are basically a cosmetic mod and a brake upgrade but check this thing out it is a total sleeper so same setup as mine same manifold same size turbo external gate it's got the RBC manifold, bigger throttle body, drive-by wire, all that sort of stuff. It all runs with a Hondata. You would never know. This car looks clean stock with lowered with wheels and it sounds nice, a little bit quieter than most CL9s with an exhaust because of the turbo acts like a muffler. We've got a stealth black front mount that you cannot even see behind there, which I think is awesome. It's exactly what we did on Nauki's car. It's got the CL seven grill and it's the facelifted version uh, luxury with the headlight washers leather sunroof everything this car has the full box and dice and a sneaky stealthy turbo now i've just got the fan on because i'm cooling down the engine bay it's just traveled across melbourne to come here today but let's go and have a look at what we're putting on because this is pretty exciting too all right so behind me here is the brake kit now this is from Dream Performance here in Clayton. Uh, I've only just heard of these guys and they're actually just around the corner from me, which is awesome and weird that I haven't heard of them, but they're making waves in the scene. They do a lot of stuff for Hondas, obviously. And we've got a 330 mil rotor that is this much bigger than stock. Plus we've got a four piston Brembo, which has been reconditioned and we've got the dog bones to match. Now these are the F50 calipers. They come as a kit with braided lines, the rotors, the dog bones, and the calipers, as well as some Ling Long uh, brake pads, but we're doing it an even bigger upgrade than the brakes. We're doing a brake pad upgrade as well. We've got some Protex Ultra Ceramic Plus pads, and these are actually Audi pads. So remember this number. I had to get the guys at Protex to do some awesome detective work and find the exact right pads, which they have done. And we're running low dust, high performance, ultra plus Protex pads. Now these pads outbreak the Brembo pads by about three or four meters in a 100 to zero brake test. John from Protex actually holds the world record in a Kia Stinger for the shortest braking distance. And they come factory with Brembo's. He ditched the Brembo rotors and he ditched the Brembo pads and ran with his Protex uh, standard rotors and, and Ultra Plus pads. And he beat the stopping distance of Brembo themselves. So that is awesome. So we're gonna be changing those out. The other thing we're doing is a cosmetic mod. Now, the customer wanted to go with a wrinkle black OEM plus look. Would you believe it? I did this with a rattle can just the other night. It only took me about 45 minutes to do, including using the heat gun and everything. And I machined off the paint from the logo and gave that a bit of a polish. And I think this came up OEM plus. It's just bloody awesome. So we're going to stick that on as well. So I'm going to get over to the car, jack it up, pull the wheels off, pull the brakes off. Uh, it's actually a pretty simple installation. We just uh, take off the old rotors and calipers, bolt on the dog bone, put the rotor on, put the caliper on, slide the pads in, and then we change over the brake lines last. Robert's your father's brother, it's done. So we're going to get to work doing that. I'm not going to show you a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we're just going to do a comparison side by side with what we're replacing and then get them on, get it in, get it out and get it done. And I've got a whole new gasket set. These are on the spoolup.com.au website. Uh, we run these gaskets in all of our K20, K24 rocket covers. Black don't crack. These are the best 
gaskets you can get that aren't genuine and they're going to save you a lot of money so stop those leaky valve covers and grab one of those on the spoolup.com.au website i'll probably chuck these pads up there as well if anyone who has the dream racing kit or the dream performance kit wants to do an upgrade you can grab those on the spool up website as well anyway i've got work to do enough chit chat Alrighty, that took so much longer than I expected. And the reason for that is this uh, dog bone that comes with the kit, when you bolt this into place, it actually rubbed on the face of the rotor. So I've had to clearance this side by about two mil. And then when I bolted everything on, the offset here on this hole uh, put everything over to one side too much you could get one pad in but not the other one so i took another two mil off there so all in all we took about three and a half almost four mil off this uh, and then i put a washer on this side to space it all in bit of anti-seize put it all on and now come check this out absolutely amazing now it's all worth it now that it's on the car and the brake lines that it comes with are actually really good as well. The ones that were on there, I'm not sure of the brand, but they were stretched way too far and not really what was needed on the car. So uh, I'm gonna modify this bracket now, take around about three to four mil off it so I can do the other side in a quarter of the time. It took me about two hours just to get the machining and everything right on this. So. Now that I know, I know. All of the mods have now been completed and I was panicking that the wheels wouldn't fit over the massive brakes, but they do check that out. This thing rolling down the street is just gonna shock so many people. 300 kilos at the wheels, LSD, all the grip, nine and a half inch wide BBS on the front, nines on the back, slammed, clean facelift luxury, Beautiful sounding exhaust, and then you see monster Brembo brakes behind those wheels. And then drop a gear, disappear, screamer pipe opens up, and you've got a turbo K24 making 400 horsepower at the wheels. This thing is incredible. I'm just about to start it up uh, since it's been here all day. We've had the car up on jack stands, so we'll just start it up, make sure that I've plugged everything in. We've changed the rocker cover. Here is the after. Nice OE factory look. I don't know about that carbon fiber, as cool as carbon fiber is. I just don't know about the finish on that, but otherwise it's looking awesome. We'll do a uh, test once the owner gets here. We'll take it just around the block and just check those brakes, make sure they do work. Uh, we've bled them and we've tested them without starting the car so always safe to do a test drive anyway just to listen for noises or anything like that but i'm confident everything's good Just like that, we've done a Brembo brake upgrade on a CL9 Accord, and we did an exchange swap over with the rocket cover. Thinking about maybe painting up a few and doing like an exchange deal. Let me know if you think that's a good idea or not, or if you'd be interested in uh, a colored a wrinkle finish or you know some kind of custom color rocket cover. I can maybe look at doing that. But uh, yeah, now it's back on to another Honda and helping out Zach with his Ronald the Teg build. It's so build. gross. We're gonna get many diseases. <laughs>
We are doing the same sort of thing as we did with the Evo and we're refurbishing all the arms. And a big shout out to Super Pro. Uh, they've jumped on board again and we're fixing up all of the suspension and all the arms on Ronald. I'm gonna make a whole separate video on that. So until then, don't forget to spool up, bring the boost, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Ooh, I like the little spool up thing you're doing. It's yeah. good. Been oh. doing it for a while. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Cheers.